It's back to school time, and as parents scramble to get all the scissors, markers, and folders needed, the White House is calling for schools to use federal COVID relief money to improve air quality. But Carmen Blackwell is here to explain that most have not made that upgrade. Carmen, good morning. Good morning, Maureen. That's right. Uh, we are learning that one Ohio school is proving to be the exception here uh, when it comes to using those federal funds. And as they're gearing up to return back to the classroom, they, along with the schools, hope that it will mean less uh, sick kids this school year. After more than two years of a pandemic, school is starting back up in Gallup Police, Ohio, and it's coming in like a breath of fresh air. If our students are behind and the least we can do is provide them, you know, a comfortable climate with good air quality. This small town on the Ohio River is taking on a huge project, a total overhaul of its school's ventilation systems. One of the best ways, health experts say, to protect students from COVID. It helps reduce the spread. It helps increase the likelihood that we don't have to use masks. Nobody likes to use a mask. Less COVID, more time in the classroom. How much did it cost? $3.9 million. So how were you able to afford it? Uh, federal funds. In response to COVID-19, the federal government has dedicated money to improve school infrastructure. The latest funding includes $122 billion from the American Rescue Plan. But a CDC report found that fewer than 40 percent of U.S. schools have made improvements to their ventilation systems. Getting the money and executing the project took Gallup Police over a year. John Bryan is a member of the school board and his son is in high school. What motivated you to do it and to stick with it when it got tough? I believe just knowing that if the basic needs of these kids aren't being met, you know, their safety, their physical needs, them getting back to normal, was never going to happen. The new system uses UV light, ionization, and filters to eradicate germs, not just COVID, but other viruses as well, including the flu. I can get to see my friends instead of them being at home sick. Cora is about to start sixth grade, and her mom is a math teacher. I definitely think that we feel like we have a healthier, safer school with our clean air. And parents, teachers, and students all very hopeful that this multi-million dollar upgrade will hopefully lead to the first school year in quite some time uninterrupted by any viruses. Dave. Carmen, thank you. Meanwhile, as we prepare to head into the fall, there are renewed concerns about COVID-19 and seasonal flu. The White House Coronavirus Response Team is encouraging people to get a flu shot and to take preventative steps in the form of masking in crowded spaces. If not, experts say COVID-19 could run rampant again, stressing out hospitals. Our healthcare system is going to get into serious trouble unless we are very proactive about preventing it. So if we do nothing and just sort of hope for the best, I think we could end up getting into a lot of trouble this fall and winter. The White House also says this fall there will be improvements to COVID vaccines, which means the shots will better prevent infection and transmission.